have done that. Berto's trying to get Berto's trying to push him against the ropes as a form of holding, but what he's doing is allowing him to punch at the same time and not and not punching him back. You know, give Colazzo credit, Berto boxing exceptionally well to start the round, was not able to deter Colazzo, who continued to throw punches to the body to apply pressure and to set traps for Berto. Berto is better on the outside, keeping him on the outside. It's always better when Colazzo's trying to catch you because you, is, you're allowing him to commit himself, and you, that's when you can use your quickness and take him out. Left cross, shoe shot to the body by Colazzo. He dips away from the punches of Berto. Uppercut by Berto. Colazzo withstands it. Happy New Year, boxing fans. And it's discouragement when it's not happening for him. Barrera is throwing harder punches to the body, and that sets up the hard punches to the head. And you know, it's funny, it's just odd that Cotto's, Cotto's been southpaw more times in this fight than most already. But he is fighting a southpaw and hasn't been effective changing over, trying to land that left from the southpaw position just to close distance. Pacquiao having a better round than Cotto here, don't you think? Oh yeah, it's been, he's been active this round. I thought he kind of took that last round off. A lot of steam has been taken from Cotto. I agree, Mario. A lot of steam. Beautiful body shot. Those are those sneaky body shots. There's another one. I'm telling you. Stop, is Cotto wearing stop, down stop. as we approach the halfway mark of a scheduled 12-rounder? He's been dropped twice. That's called fighting back. Part of the problem here may be that Linares gets very good sparring at wild card. You got a tall, lanky right-hander in Khan. You got a short, fast southpaw in uh, Manny Pacquiao. But he's fighting a tall, lanky southpaw here. How do you quite, you know, it's, it's tough to get sparring for a guy like DeMarco. Incidentally, he hasn't yet sparred with Amir Khan. Right. That point should be made. He's right. sparred 30 rounds with Pacquiao. He has not been in the ring yet with Khan. And now here comes DeMarco again. Crowd is buzzing as it appears DeMarco has another chance. Linares says, Come on in. The, and the blood is bothering DeMarco. I mean, Linares. The blood is flowing into his right eye. There's a real change here, Jim. Yep. Linares is getting hit with everything. He wasn't getting hit with anything. Right. Now he's getting right. hit with everything. But he's firing back. He's firing field. back. He's still firing back. Ducking and slipping, blocking a couple, getting hit with a lot. Oh. If they make it out of this one, the 12th round will be high drama. But there's still a minute to go in the 11th. And DeMarco oh, hands. Oh, oh, hard right hand by DeMarco after a body shot by Linares. Linares' entire face, a mask of blood. He lands a right hand in return and backs DeMarco up. What a round. What a fight. It's become a potential fight of the month candidate. It's one of the best rounds you can see. Lenar seemingly badly hurt in the nose with a right hand by DeMarco moments ago. Two amazing shots by DeMarco. 
How did Lenara stay up? It's over. And Raul uh, Pais is going to stop the fight and give DeMarco a TKO victory. Amazing show, tremendous win for Linares. Overwhelming set er, for, for DeMarco, overwhelming setback for Jorge Linares, who is brokenhearted in his corner. He fought his heart out.